use the stock UTEX, trading about $88.46, okay? And the condor that we're creating is the uh, 82 and a half 90. So what we're doing is we're buying, remember, condor deals with the same side of the equation on the, the expiry, all calls, or if you wanted to do it, you could do it in all puts. Uh, but you're doing all calls, so what we're doing is we're buying the 82 and a half, 85 call spread, and what we're doing is we're paying two dollars and twenty cents for that, which is a difference of six eighty-five and four sixty-five, and then we're turning around and we're selling the eighty-seven ninety call vertical. So you know that we're dealing with two and a half point strikes, and what we're trying to capture is the net debit of what we paid for this, which is ninety-seven cents. So our risk on this strategy is obviously what we paid for it. Okay. What we paid is we paid 97 cents times 10 times 100. We're risking $970 for a 10-lot condor that we're trying to put on. What are we trying to capture? We're trying to capture the difference between 97 cents and the $2.5 strike. Basically, a $1.53, $1.53 plus the 97 cents gives us the difference of our strikes, $2.5. And what does that work out to times 10 times 100? $1,530. So in our condor, what we're looking to do is capture uh, an investment from 970 bucks to gain another, we want to gain $1,530. So we bought the vertical, which is the lower strike, 82 and a half, 85, at 97 cents, looking for it to go to the stock to remain above 85, but obviously below 87 and a half. So you could see our range of profitability as the chart will show you, is between uh, that area. So when you look at your, your maximum profit potential, it's going to be probably right at the uh, 85 level, okay, or right to the 87 and a half level. Right here is where you're going to capture that uh, $1,530 because what's going to happen is the 82 and a half, 85 strike at expiry is going to be worth five. You paid 0.974, you're picking up uh, I mean, sorry, it's two and a half. You're paid 0.97. You're picking up the difference, a buck 53, and the spread that you're short is going out worthless. The 87 and a half 90 has no value because the 87 and a half calls are, are out of the money as other 90s. So you can see by the line line, the area that we maximize our our profit is going to be obviously between 85 and 87 and a half. Now you also obviously because we paid only 97 cents. Uh, as the stock goes up, and any value that it's in the money beyond beyond the 97, 97 cents. So if you were to add your 82 and a half to 0.97, you know basically the 83.47 is your break-even point on the upside. So if the stock hits that price, anything from there to 87 and a half is all profit. So you know where your break-even point is on the upside. Uh, the downside, obviously, is beneath that all the way through the 97 cents, you're going to lose 97 cents. The stock closes below the 82 and a half, you're, you're obviously a loser because the 82 and a half call is out of the money. So the blue line is just simply representing uh, what the condor is going to look like uh, theoretically and mark to market each day through the life cycle of August, which has 38 days. Now, obviously, I explained it in the uh, PowerPoint, we want to stay short term. We don't, we don't want to go into 129 days and do the November or, or do a, a September. You know, that's 60 some days that's possible. The more narrow, the more near term the time frame, obviously the less probability of anything negative happening. You want to limit the probability of something that could go wrong or that could cause the stock to move outside of your parameters, which for the condor in this example are exactly what we described. We want this baby to stop right at uh, either 85 or 87 and a half, because then we realize the difference of our $9, nine, 97 cents that we paid, uh, maxing it out uh, the vertical to two and a half dollars. So we're picking up a buck 53. So we make the 1,530 dollars. You're paying 97 cents ten times. You're risking 97, 970 dollars. That's all you could possibly lose in this strategy because you can see the reason why that is, because you are in a vertical spread. So a vertical is only worth the difference of the two strikes. If you buy it, it's what you can gain, what you paid, 
minus the difference of strikes is what you can gain. If you sold it, it's what you can collect minus the two strikes, uh, which is what you could lose if it goes to its maximum value. So the condor is a pretty simple strategy working two verticals. You could do this on uh, the put side, and just as we worked here where we're, we're doing an example of buying it, you could sell it, and when you sell it, you're basically just reversing that look like I showed you uh, in the graph in the PowerPoint. So instead of it being uh, the range of uh, probability 85 to 87 half, that's where you want it to be outside of to start collecting some money. So let's now move.